Pediatrics allows you to offer impact for people who are just starting out in life. My name is Thomas Attard. I'm one of the pediatric gastroenterologists at Children's Mercy, Kansas City. My two areas of focus are the hereditary polyposis patients, which are children who have usually a family history or a genetic mutation that sets them up to get polyps within the intestine. And then the other category of patients are individuals who need what we call advanced endoscopic techniques, such as deep enteroscopy, meaning endoscopy into the small intestine. So those two kind of areas of focus then merge together in exactly those type of patients who have polyps throughout their intestine, for example. We certainly have a population of patients who can have polyps or growths in their intestine, which if they are advanced enough will be cancerous. We invest a lot of time in developing strategies to study our patients who are at risk so that we find polyps or other abnormalities way before they have the chance to be symptomatic or serious. The research that we do is aimed towards developing medicines that will allow us to either delay or stretch out the, um, the interval between having to do things like more invasive endoscopic procedures or starting to do surgeries. Right now what's obvious to me is that there is going to be an enormous impact of big data research. Big data offers us the best experiment that we can run on populations that will allow us to understand diseases actually. Individuals like me or much, much smarter individuals who are scientists who just do microbiome research cannot understand the results that they are getting if they are not able to apply AI technology to them. So that excites me a lot. I have no idea what we're gonna look like in 10 years time. And I would, I would wonder what it's gonna look like in 20 or 30.